Are you looking to do the pivot method of dart manipulation in Adobe Illustrator? Well today I'm going to show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to show you how to use the pivot method of dart manipulation in Adobe Illustrator. So let's bring up Adobe. I've also brought up my half scale pattern to kind of show you how I am working on it. If you're interested in my half scale, definitely check the link below so that you can get your own half scale. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup my pattern because right now I have my bust point and my shoulder notch all grouped in to the pattern and I don't want to be manipulating them as well. I want them to be staying exactly where they are. Then, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where the new dart is going to be going. And I'm just going to put in a design line to help me visualize and make sure that I can see it later and all that. The next thing I'm going to do is I also want to make sure that I bring this dart leg all the way up to the bust point. It's because you, we will be lowering it later, but you want to make sure that you are moving all that entire pattern just as is. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lock this layer, create a new layer if you haven't done that, and then we are going to be tracing out half of this pattern onto the new layer. And this is part of the pivot. So we're going to pen it, and what you would normally start at the very tip but because it's Adobe and I'm going to want to be able to subtract it out later, I'm going to just start a little bit lower on the dart leg. And I'm just going to work myself all the way around this pattern. Anchor. Until I get right there. And then right at that bus point, I'm done. I don't want to do anything else on that layer right now. So what I want to do next is I want to pivot the pattern. So I'm going to go back to the original layer and I'm going to highlight the original pattern that I have as well as that line there. So hit shift and make sure you've highlighted both of them. Now you also want to make sure that you've highlighted the correct layer. So I have the layers green and red. They are very different and I definitely know that I'm highlighted the right layer. Then we're just going to rotate on the bus point and we're going to rotate it until it hits that other dart leg right there. And then we will know that we can finish tracing out this pattern. So I'm going to relock this layer, click back on to that green and we're going to finish penning out the layer. So I want to start the other dart leg and continue around. And I'm going to click just to the left of that point there. And I'm going to then subtract out that anchor point up at the top. I probably could have just started at the bottom, but I always like to make sure I have that guideline to be able to pivot to very easily seen. And then all you have to do is highlight both anchor points, control shift alt J, and it will take those two points and average them into the one. Then we're going to make that original layer disappear. And the last thing that you would need to do is you would mo need to move that bus point back out from the actual bus point. So what we're going to do so we're going to draft a line that's 0.5, we're going to put it out 180, and we're going to rotate it so that it's splitting the difference, and then we're going to move that bus point from one end to the other. And we can delete that off. The last thing I realized I didn't do, so right now that anchor point at the waist is coming to a little bit of a point and we definitely want to keep it as smooth as possible. So we just want to smooth out that anchor point at the bottom. And there we have it. We have Dart manipulated through Pivot in Adobe Illustrator. Definitely make sure to check out the other video on how you can do this through the slash and spread method. 
because that is the other main way that you can do these dart manipulations in Adobe Illustrator. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to do the pivot method of dart manipulation in Adobe Illustrator and I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Definitely hit that like and subscribe so that you can continue your adventure into digitally apparel patterning in Adobe Illustrator. We'll see you in another video.